everyone. How you doing? It was very warm here today. It was in the 80s. I know it's been hotter in other places, but here 80s are nice. Um, my name is Jackie. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Glad you could join me. And I started my channel in November, and if you've been here since then, I'm glad you could join me, and I'm glad you're still with me. I love making new friends and hope to make many more and hope I can bring things that will be of interest. Today I have a little bit of a Dollar Tree shopping trip, so I'm going to share that with you. Uh, I, I got this towel. Isn't that pretty? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this towel, I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to crochet a hanging thingy from it, and I'll get two from one. Two towels from one for a dollar. That's 50 cents each. That's not bad. And it's going to be pretty. So that's what I'm going to do with that towel. And then they had the uh, dish towels, scrubber dishcloth. They had those that match. I'm not going to take them apart yet. I guess I could. Don't see why not. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love chickens. I would have chickens out here at our home if I could. But we're not home enough. And um, the last time we had chickens, and yes, we did have some. We even, we brought some home from Mississippi one time. Back when our kids was little, uh, my uncle, he he's passed now. He's not with us anymore. But he lived down in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. And right, right down from Tupelo. So, I've been to Elvis's place. Yep. Anyway. That was, that was the starlight of my trips. Anyway, we brought chickens home. My uncle gave us some baby chickens. And uh, we brought them home. We had a, a station wagon. And we had a small camper. And we had three kids and my mom, my husband and I. We were all together. And the chickens would ride in the camper in the daytime. And then when we would stop at the campground at night, the chickens would go into the back of the station wagon. It was a fun trip. It really was. It was interesting. The kids had a ball. And we raised those chickens and hatched several chickens from them that we we raised and um, we had a nice little pen out back for them, had them fenced in and we both worked. I worked some on the farm at that time because I was a stay at home mom and I'd take the kids and we'd go pick strawberries and whatever fruit. Well, at that time it was like strawberries and we come, come home one day and all of our chickens just about was gone. I think we had like 30 and we had maybe maybe a half a dozen chickens left in our pen. And it was heartbreaking. We don't know if somebody stole them. We don't know if a um, po possum or whatever it is that gets in the chicken coops. We never, we never found out. So we ended up putting the rest of the chickens in the freezer and that was the end of our chicken days. So, haven't had any since. Interesting story, huh? Okay, let's get on with this haul. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I get to babbling and I can tell some good ones. I got me some scrubbies. I try to stay stocked up on these. And I got... They had these... Um, they had these gel pens. I got two packs. Um, each one have uh, different, four different colors. And 
I thought I'd try using them in the adult coloring books. Someone told me they use gel pens in their coloring books, and I thought I'd give it a try. I wish I could have got some more colors, but maybe they'll get some more. Anyhow, I picked these up. I thought they were really pretty. Isn't it pretty? And my husband loves the Milky Ways, so I picked up some Milky Ways. I always ask him, what would you like me to, you want anything from the Dollar Tree? You know, he always says, let's get a little pack of Milky Ways and share them. I'm all for that. So, I got Milky Ways. And then I found, I found this tissue paper. Look at the pinwheels. Isn't that neat? So I got that. And I only got a couple pack of stickers. I got these. And then I started to get two of these and ended up putting one back. And now I kind of wish I would have kept the other one. So when I, if I run across, across it again, I'll get another one. And then I found these. I really like this one. Look at the boots. And the bicycle. Now, I don't know if these are new. I don't know for sure if I've seen them hauled or not. To be totally honest, people have been hauling real similar. And there, there's so many of them, it's hard to remember. So, if... If you've seen them, you're seeing them again. And if you haven't, there you go. And then the last thing that I got was this nail polish. Isn't it pretty? I have not that I can remember. I don't think I have any nail polish from the Dollar Tree, but I thought, you know, I'd give it a try for a dollar. You know, see if I like it. Okay. Okay. And then I have something else, too. My last video that I showed from the Dollar Tree, I was showing that I had gotten my mom some makeup. And I had said that I hadn't tried the Dollar Tree makeup. That's not totally true. I got to thinking about it. I have used their eye pencil, which is okay and I continue to use it but it does break a lot when you sharpen it and it doesn't last forever but it it does you know it lasts pretty good it's it wipes off pretty easy I think anyway that's just my opinion um I I bought the mascara I definitely do not like the mascara and I probably will not buy the mascara again. I'll probably go back to my Mary Kay mascara. Uh, because I like the waterproof. And so, will I throw what I bought away? Nope. I'm going to use it until it's gone. And then I'll, I'll get my Mary Kay back. And then uh, I bought yesterday, the uh, I think it was yesterday, the blush. And I tried the blush. I think it's pretty much wore off now, but I like it, so I would buy it again. So that that is what I have used, and that's my opinion on them. So uh, some of them are good. It's it's like any makeup you buy, it's a hit and miss if you're not getting an expensive brand. But to be totally honest, even an expensive brand is a hit and miss with a lot of people. So. Anyway, that's just my two cents. And I think I'm allowed to give it. All right, you guys. That's all I got. Yep. It's been a long day. Took my mom out to eat today. Took her to Cracker Barrel. She enjoyed it. She got the catfish. And she ate really well. And... It was really nice to get her out of the home for a while. So I'm going to try while the weather's nice to make a habit of going and taking her out of the 
for say nursing home. It's an assistant living, but it's kind of like a nursing home. Um, but she has a little bit more privacy. Uh, so yes, I'm going to try getting her out more this summer. I have a niece that is been just wonderful about helping me take her out and I'm real appreciative of her. She's, she's very sweet. Uh, my update on April, my niece that's been, uh, going through surgery, uh, for cancer and stuff, she's doing very well. She's going next week to have the inserts. I, I don't know, expanders. She's going to have them took out. She decided that she would not, uh, do the, the artificial breast because of her body may reject them. Um, the saline could leak, which would lead to more surgery. So she's decided to get the expanders took out and be happy with what God's give her and happy with just being alive. So that's the update on, on April. She's doing very well. Uh, continue to pray as she goes through this little bit of surgery that she's got to go through. Uh, she is going to be on chemo pills for five years. Um, she didn't think she would have to be on anything. They didn't tell her. But then when she went for a final checkup, they surprised her and said, yeah, they wanted her to take this pill for five years. They want to shut down her ovaries, which doesn't make sense to me. If you're going to do chemotherapy pills to shut down the ovaries, take the darn things out. What are they going to do? Just get rid of them. That's just my opinion. Yeah, it's more surgery, but it sounds like it could be a lot less um, problems for her than taking these pills. But anyway, all right, you guys, I think I've babbled in your ears enough, so I'm going to get off of here. Have a great weekend, what's left of it. Um, I hope it's nice wherever you are. I hope you don't get a lot of rain, but if you do, maybe I hope you need it. And if you do need the rain, I pray you get it. If you don't need rain, I pray you don't. Anyway, God bless each one of you. Thank you for following me and tuning into my channel. I would love it if you would share my channel with other people and give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Uh, if you've tried the, the makeup from the Dollar Tree, let me know what you think about it. Yeah, let me know what you think about it. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to get off of here and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.